uh, uh, probably we kind of when when you enter when I entered your studio first, mm -hmm. I was stunned with quality of your photographs, what they they amount, and it was quite kind of also what I could see on the walls, what was quite well curated. You 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 kind of you're not only producing works, you choose what you show. Um, yeah, editing is a very important part of my work. You know, I spend, I would say, well, much, much more time editing than I do actually taking photographs. Yeah. So I spend years editing. So what we see on the walls, is it part of the same project called We? It's part of the, the same project. I've been really lucky, and Alistair, who edited the first book, has found, found funding for a second book. So next year we're going to have a system, sister volume coming out, which we're going to call Moi. My Russian pronunciation is probably very bad. Moi. Moi. <laughs> and uh, so what I'm doing now is editing photographs from my archive for this new book. So tell us how this project has started. What is we? Uh, because it's a long-running project, it's run it's more than, for more than 20 years. Yes, yeah. How did you start it and how did you come to this idea and what it is? What's, what is we, actually? The, the, the project um, came out of a, of a, of a friendship. Uh, now, in 1996, I was invited to exhibit my photographs in the Perm State Puppet Theatre. And uh, Georgi Shulakov sponsored the exhibition. He printed the photographs for the, he printed the, rather, the, the poster. I think I've got a copy of the poster here. He, uh, he printed the, uh, the poster for the exhibition, mm -hmm. but he also paid for my um, train fare to and from Moscow and uh, helped the family that I was staying with. Uh, and from that, I became very friendly with him and his family and I've stayed friends with them ever since and I've been going back to, to visit Russia now for over 20 years and, and staying with the Shulikovs and making photographs all the time when I'm with them. Mm. For the, and for the first 10 years it, it wasn't even a, a project, it was, I was just taking all of the photographs and never thought of it as part of my work. And I used to send them photographs of my stay with them back and sometimes I used to make funny collages and, and I've made a, a few handmade books and sent them to them but it was, it was never a formal project. Then after, then after 10 years, in fact it was after a trip to Altai, I was really lucky to go to Altai with them. They, they travel quite a lot in the summer and one summer they were kind of making a trip to Altai. There was a, an um, a, a solar eclipse, I think, in nine, 2007, or possibly eight. I think it was 2007, and they were going to have a, go to Altai to, to view the eclipse, because apparently that was a very mm. good place to see it, and they were travelling with two other families who I also had to become close friends with. And so I, I went for this amazing trip with them, which was a, it wasn't just an adventure for me, it was an adventure for them too. It was, was a, it was a, well, probably the, the most exciting trip of my life. In your photographs, you show not memories, but mm. rather the future, how you would like to see it. Is that true? I, that, that is true, yeah. yeah. I was very lucky to um, have a very happy childhood. I had um, three sisters and I think I've got 18 cousins, I lose count. And, uh, and grand, I, had a, I was very lucky and had a really idyllic childhood. And then what really quite shocked me was how, when you're growing up, you find that the world isn't idyllic and that things that you... Th yeah, that the, the, the world is not as it is, as it seemed to me as a child. And I think with we, I'm trying to envisage a world where the wonderful and joyous world of childhood can be replicated in our adult lives as well. Yes, and there is some utopian uh, vision in it, but also interesting uh, 
that it, it, it is because basically that time time mm, repetition for the future Deleuze calls revolutionary repetition. So it's really there is impetus to change the world mm. in in the project we and again the we re uh, relates to the collective. Mm. And what is we for you? What actually I was fascinated with references to the novel because novel is so dystopian and it shows um, collectivity in a mm. very mm. kind of dark way. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, first, just to backtrack, I think I think we do have to change the world if we are going to move forward with the with the huge problems we have. But and. Your, your second question, how, how did I come, come to we? The, the, for, for many years the project was called um, Three Sisters because there's three sisters in the family mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. I'd, I'd, and Chekhov had apparently when he was, he was writing um, Three Sisters he, he, he set it in a, in a provincial town similar, he, similar, he actually said similar to Perm so there was that nice connection. And, but I, I wasn't, com I wasn't, I was never happy with that title. So I was always looking for another title which encapsulated what I wanted to say better. And when I was putting together the the, the book, I, 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 I just, I don't know how I came up with we, but I came up with we, and I suggested it to a few people. And uh, I have a very good friend who's a who's a poet, and I suggested it to her, and everybody seemed to like the title. But the title came out of the fact that I, I thought it encompassed myself as a photographer. It encompassed um, the Shulikov family and their friends, and also the viewers. So it spoke of of, of everybody, the, the myself, the, the subjects, and, and the um, and the viewer too. So I, I, I like very much like that. And I am very interested in, in, in politics. I, I studied economics as my first degree. And I, like, and I think if we are going to change the world, we can't do it in, individually. We have, we have to think of, of ourselves together. Mm -hmm. So I get from that point of view too. And then, what, and then I researched on the internet and I was amazed to find that there'd only been one significant um, book called We, as you say, by uh, the science fiction book. That you mentioned, yeah. So I thought, and I, and I, and I love that connection. That that was dystopian story, and mine's a utopian story. So yeah. opposites are good. <laughs>